I am Shannon Bautista from Tom 11 of La Consolation College of Manila. And today, we're going to discuss about the introduction of mathematical language and symbol. Let us find out the terms, definition, and everything about the mathematical language. Let's go! Language is a systematic way of communication with other people with the use of sounds and convention symbols. Now let's proceed to the importance of the language. First is that a language was invented to communicate ideas to others. One of the importance of a language is that the language of mathematics was designed for numbers, sets, functions, and to perform operations. Here are the symbols that are commonly used in mathematics. Number one is the 10 digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Second are the operations, plus, minus, multiply, and divide. Third is the sets, intersection, union, subset, and superset. Fourth is the variables such as A, B, C, and even X and Y. Fifth is the special symbols, equals, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, pi, and many more. Sixth is the logic symbol, notation, conjunction, disjunction, if and then, if and only if. Seventh is the set in notations, m represents natural numbers, W represents whole numbers, letter Z represents integers, Q represents rational numbers, R represents real numbers, and C represents complex numbers. Now let's proceed to the important sets. N represents natural numbers, or counting numbers, the numbers 1, 2, and 3. It always begins with 1. Next is the whole number. The numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. It always begins with 0. Next is the letter Z. Set of integers. The negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. In integers, we have positive and negative numbers. Next is the letter Q. Rational numbers. The terminating and repeating decimals. Next is the Q prime, the set of irrational numbers. It is also called non-terminating or non-repeating decimals. Next is the R, the set of real numbers. When we say real numbers, all numbers are included. The natural numbers, whole numbers, set of integers, and even the rational and irrational numbers. Lastly is the complex numbers, or what we call imaginary symbols. Here are the common symbols that you are going to encounter. Now let's proceed to the grammar of mathematics. The mathematical notation used for formulas has its own grammar, not dependent on a specific natural language but shared internationally by mathematician regardless of their mother tongue. Here are some characteristics of the mathematical language. First, it should be precise. Language should be accurate. It should have fine definition. Second, it should be concise. Be able to say things briefly. And lastly, it needed to be powerful. You need to be able to express complex thoughts. Here are some difficulties that most of us encounter in mathematical language. There are words that we usually use but has a different definition in mathematics. For example, the word is could mean equality, inequality, or member in a set. Second is that the different use of a number such as cardinal, ordinal, nominal, and ratio. Third is that mathematical objects may be represented in many ways such as sets and function. The word and and or means differently in mathematics 
from its English use. In sets, and is used for intersection. And or is used for union. It is also used in probability. There are a lot more words that has a different meaning in the language of English and in mathematics. But for now, we are going to end our discussion and let's continue to figure out on the next lessons. That's it for today. Thanks for watching! Da 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 da